Naval Ravikant is an entrepreneur and an angel investor and a much smarter person than I am. But Naval is also known for his positive beliefs about life and the capitalist society we live in today. In this video he will be talking about why you should create wealth instead of simply seeking money or status. Instead of narrating over this video myself, I'm going to let Naval do the talking because I simply do not believe that I can tell his ideas as well as he can. I've never done a video where I didn't do the narrating myself, so please let me know in the comments what you think of it compared to my other videos. This would really help me out. Alright, let's get started. So my definition of wealth is much more businesses and assets that can earn while you sleep. But really the reason you want wealth is because it buys you freedom. So you don't have to wear a tire like a collar around your neck. So you don't have to wake up at 7 a.m. and rush to work and sit in commute traffic. So you don't have to waste away your entire life grinding all the productive hours into a way to a soulless job that doesn't fulfill you. So the purpose of wealth is freedom. It's nothing more than that. It's not to buy fur coats or drive Ferraris or sail yachts or jet around the world in your Gulf Stream. That stuff gets really boring and really stupid really fast. It's really just so that you are your own sovereign individual. You're not going to get that unless you really want it. And the entire world wants it. And the entire world is working hard at it. Money is how we transfer wealth. Money is social credits. It is the ability to have credits and debits on other people's time. If I do my job right, if I create value for society, society says, oh, thank you. We owe you something in the future for the work that you did in the past. Here's a little IOU. Let's call that money. There are fundamentally two huge games in life that people play. One is the money game because money is not going to solve all your problems, but it's going to solve all your money problems. So I think that people know that they realize that so they want to make money. But at the same time, many of them deep down believe that they can't make it. They don't want any wealth creation to happen. So they sort of virtue signal by attacking the whole enterprise by saying, well, making money is evil and you shouldn't do it, blah, blah, blah. But what they're trying to do is they're actually playing the other game, which is a status game. They're trying to be high status in the eyes of other people watching by saying, well, I don't need money. We don't want money. And then status is just your ranking in the social hierarchy. So wealth is not a zero sum game. Everybody in the world can have a house because you have a house doesn't take away from my ability to have a house. If anything, the more houses that are built, the easier it becomes to build houses, the more we know about building houses and just the more people that can have houses. So wealth is a very positive sum game. Status, on the other hand, is a zero sum game. It's a very old game. We've been playing it since monkey tribes and it's hierarchical. Who's number one, who's number two, who's number three. And for number three to move to number two, number two has to move out of that slot. The problem is that by playing these status games, to win at a status game, you have to put somebody else down. That's why you should avoid status games in your life because they make you into an angry, combative person. You're always fighting to put other people down, to put yourself and the people that you like up. And they're always going to exist. There's no way around it. But just realize that most of the times when you're trying to create wealth, you're actually getting attacked by someone else. And they're trying to look like a goody two shoes. But really what they're doing is they're trying to up their own status at your expense. They're just playing a different game. And it's a worse game. It's a zero sum game instead of a positive sum game. I hope you enjoyed this video. Animation videos like these take me such a long time to create, so please consider leaving a like or a comment. When you subscribe to my channel, you will receive the most valuable ideas that I read out of books from trusted authors right on your subscription page every week. Oh, and if you don't wanna miss a video, don't forget to click on that bell. These videos are meant as an overview and as an introduction to the topic, so if you want to learn more things and really get into the details, go to Audible using my link in the description for two free audio books with a free trial in the description you will also find my recommended books and the best material investments i have bought over the years thank you for watching and see you next week